What's up guys, Heretic you here with another Relic Knights Battle Report. That's right, it's been a while, I know. January's kind of slowed down for me, gaming-wise. But I did get this 3-on-3 um, three -three battle. Um, so we're going to start it off by talking about the, um, the Prismatic. They're one of the guys we're battling today. So each side is going to be rocking 50 points of stuff. Uh, Prismatic is bringing um, candy and cola for the Relic Knight. Um, Cordelia and Amy U beat. There's one more model he was proxying, so I'm not entirely sure what that was for <clears throat> for scenarios or objectives. Um, he got tear it down and assassinate. So moving on to the Black Diamond, we've got uh, Black Diamond, 50 points, led by Leopold Magnus. Um, let me see, I think they had a uh, Suspect 7, a squad of Diamond Core, the uh, Blitz Tank, and if I'm not mistaken, Ms. Sophia Drake. Um, their objectives were um, Secure Perimeter and defensive life which was the uh, unit of diamond core and finally we have my no empire led by marakan now i know what you're thinking that's a picture of kasaro toe and before that for black diamond i used a picture of one shot hey, i like the, the pictures people you get the point it's the faction it's not the questing nightmare right. just just leave me alone just that, 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 don't do that. Anyways, um, my 50 points was Marican and uh, a full squad of Berserkers plus a one-man Berserker uh, unit of Hounds and the uh, Serpent Priestess and the Beastmaster. And I got Conservation and Realign. So that was that's that's one big ball of horribleness if you're a no player. But anyways, moving on, we're gonna start the battle. Let me just get a shot of where all the objectives are. Wait, where is Lemming's primary? Right the same between Vagus and the tank. Oh right there. And where's your primary? This one? No. Yeah. You bet. <laughs> We got Suspect 7 over there. I got, you guys can activate. No, I can activate. Oh, he, yeah, I have to wait for him. Can you queue up? I could cheat, but. Magnus. I get two. Is it the same one? <laughs> Why are you gonna kill the server to preach this? Why? Because it's a good thing to do. <laughs> you don't know that. You didn't see what she could do last game. <laughs> yes, I did. She moved an objective. <laughs> Am I in face to face with that? Yeah. I'll give it to you. Okay. Were you going to attack it? No, I thought I'd hug it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to give it a hug. Uh, two. Look at him, he's going right for his... Good news. Can we attack? I'm just saying, you know, you kill me, this is going to be, this is going to be problems for you. Well, I, I promise, like, you, you forced my hand. <laughs> You took a very aggressive position against me. Uh, damage 8, piercing 2. Okay. Hang on. Then it's 11? Yep. Magnus is it? Oh, yeah. Do I want to counter it? Yeah, see? <laughs> no, I actually sort of priest alone. <laughs> yeah, hang on. You leave her alone. Yeah. Oh, really? No, he forced my hand over here. Oh, you dick! <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and light up the Berserker's electrical mask. Alright. Give the back of the card. You have one hell desk around me. Okay, I've got a complete you. Did not see this coming. So that's the psychic. Right? How did you not see this coming? Because I thought he was going after Serpent Priest. So oh. I'm like, okay. Alright, go ahead and spend send hell desk for Yay! Uh, Alright, so Okay. Uh, 
and I'll crank it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, damage seven push four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to push me where? Uh, he's going to hit into him. You don't take damage from hitting models, right? He's going to hit three. Okay, so he takes three. Okay. I don't know if you take damage from him. I thought you did. Um, we should look that up. Because I think models are still Okay, kids, I think it's time to um, speed things up here. Um, kind of explain what was happening. So, basically, um, this is a case of bad deployment on my behalf. Uh, spreading my forces out between the Black Diamond and the um, Prismatic means that they're both attacking me at the same time. Anyways, back to the battle. That's um, my No Berserker. Attacking Suspect 7. Always a good idea to attack Suspect 7 when they're all together like that. Unfortunately, they got their guard off and took no damage. So yeah, that's not good. Prismatics going next. They are um, doing a... Amy U Beats doing a uh, ranged attack on my No Berserker that's in the corner there. And... There we look at the Diamond Core in all their glory. Uh, they can draw a line of sight to my hounds, unfortunately. I could not hide them well enough behind that little hill, which sucks because we had stealth. And he, kind of depending on terrain there. But anyways, he wipes out half the squad with some uh, some of his shooting there. And, and you can see that the No are in a bad position here. So here we go. Serpent Priestess is going to activate. No, actually, we are going with. Um, yeah, I think she. Uh, I transferred. I transferred uh, Esper um, to her, and then we have a refocus action by uh, Cola. So everyone just kind of uh, gathering Esper at this point in time. Um. Here we have Suspect 7 for the Black Diamond doing what Suspect 7 does. They're going to split up. That's why I say, kids, uh, if you see Suspect 7 when they're all together, attack them right away before they can split up and do their token-shifting shenanigans. You want to get them early. I just wish that... Um, man, they have a really cheap guard. They really do. It makes them very tough to take down. Um... No is going next. That's me activating the remaining hounds that are going to charge the um, the diamond core. I want to do as much damage to them as possible because they are the defensive life squad, which means they're carrying the token. If they reach the furthest board edge, um, they're going to score three points. So it's a good idea to take them out. And I was able to take out one. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the the woods. I wanted the squad to take advantage of stealth there. But their follow-up move is just not strong enough. And now we're going with uh, Candy. So Candy's going to do her bottle opener attack. This is, this is some serious crap here. Candy's attack does like 8 points of damage with piercing 2. And so my primary objective is looking pretty beat up there. I'm going to have to spend a couple activations healing it. Or I'm going to give uh, the Prismatic 5 points. Not only that, most of my objectives depend on my primary objective being there. And if it's destroyed, well, I am shit out of luck. And there's Magnus. Magnus is taking out the rest of my hounds and scoring a point for destruction with his... Electrical Mewtwo ish attack. Um, and again, I just want to point out look at all the range on the their, uh, Black Diamond just owning that corner there with the squad of Diamond Core, the Blitz tank, and 
Magnus, um, you know, my no just can't can't do enough damage to them, and um, unfortunately suffering from that. And that's me activating the Serpent Priestess, forcing the Diamond Core into the wall. Unfortunately, they were able to armor up and avoid most of that damage, but it does it does push them back a little and gets them further away from their objective. So, having the Serpent Priestess around is a pretty good idea. Sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to get comfortable here. <clears throat> Here's Cordelia. Doing her line attack, um, I believe she did a couple points of damage to Leopold and the Blitz tank. <clears throat> and we have the Diamond Core placing a secure token on my objective. You bastard. There's the No. The last of the Berserkers. Gonna take a chunk out of... Uh, Amy, you beat there. <clears throat> Let me just clear my throat here. All right, continuing on. Had to get some water. Sorry about that. Got the uh, dry mouth going. Sorry about that. So <clears throat> here we have Amy, you beat doing what she does. Using her rockin' electric guitar skills to take out my no berserker. And score a point of destruction. So, no are in some bad shape here. Some really bad shape. Um, Suspect 7 is going to continue uh, shifting around, moving around. Um, I think they picked up a cargo token. Doing their thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You see Suspect 7, you 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 take them out right away. If they're all together, take them out fast. That's uh, that's my questing night, Mercan. Finally getting into the fray there. She's hiding from all the dang range on the table. And she is going to take a range shot, I believe, on the Diamond Core. We want to prevent those three points you can see really close to that table edge and I take out one so I've got to do more damage than that or they are going to score big time but then I've got you know candy to deal with here and she's gonna do another eight points to my primary objective so I've got too many too many fires to put out so at this point guys uh, basically I got to shift um, Priorities and I use the Serpent Priest to heal my primary objective before Candy obliterates that. And now we have, um, I think that's Leopold Magnus taking a shot at Cordelia. Yeah, why not? So at least now they're starting to attack each other. Um, I activate the. Um, the No Berserker, my last one. And he's going to, to do his best and stop this squad from reaching their objective. So he's going to charge them down. And I believe I'm going to do enough damage just to take out one. I'm telling you, the armor on these guys. These guys. Their armor is pretty amazing. So, yeah. Anyways, Black Diamond player is a little worried because um, I don't think he's going to score his three point. I take out two. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's actually an illegal move there because I started in broken ground, so I shouldn't have been able to make that follow-up move. But whatever, I'm, I'm losing. So. so pity me, people. Pity me. Uh, we got Cola moving around, transferring Esper to... Candy, of course. And we got Lockmean transferring Esper to, um, I believe it's the, um, uh, my Beastmaster. Then the Serpent Priestess goes 
uh, heals up the objective and moves back into position. And then we have Amy U beat charging down the objective. I think that's going to do it. She's going to smash it, and that's going to score uh, six points for Prismatic. Them, them, damn shenanigans. And now uh, the Blitz Tank's going to activate and take a pop shot at um, Cordelia. So, you know, the, the Prismatic uh, individuals are pretty strong. They've got a lot of hit points. They've got a lot of ways to... To heal themselves and uh, yeah, all around they're they're really impressed with them. Should pick them up, but I think I'm going void because no one's seen void. Here we go, Beastmaster, gonna do his best to exact revenge for the um, the busted down um, primary objective because that screws me in so many ways because everything that I had involved the primary objective. So I, I really don't have much uh, different ways to score except for uh, points of destruction. So I take a chunk out of Amy U Beat again. Cause she's asking for it. You know, she she she's she's she definitely deserves to be smacked around. Yeah, looking back, uh, besides the deployment, I think it's best to run two full squads of berserkers. Yeah, I'm not the Serpent Priestess this round just wasn't as impressive. Anyways, here's uh, Candy. She's going to go and smack the uh, Beastmaster for a bit. And Suspect 7's running around. They, they secure another anyway, objective. So Black Diamond's looking to score um, pretty quickly, knowing that um, Prismatic is close to winning this. And I have my Berserker guy. I think he just refocuses at, the, at this point. Yeah, I think I had crappy cards. Um, I couldn't reach the uh, the remaining Diamond Core. Because I tried to move back into cover. What I should have done is move next to them. That's why it's always great to record your battles. Because as you can see, you know, where you generally, generally fuck. Just... Screw the pooch there and learn. Hopefully, learn. So, we got Lock Me transferring Esper. I believe that is going to the Beastmaster. Got to power him up because he is staring down the Questing Knight Candy. Not Questing, the Relic Knight Candy. And so, he's got to do his best. Um,. And then I have Lock Me, who's taking shots. Uh, kills the uh, black, the the remaining of the Diamond Core. However, they did score their uh, secondary objective, so they're on the board with. Um, I want to say five. They they have five from a couple points of destruction and um, three for dropping off the life token. And then we have a showdown here between, uh, I think, um, Magnus is firing at Amy U Beat to score some points. And she gets pushed into candy and takes additional damage. Um, and we got Lock Me flying around, transferring Esper. This time to uh, American. So Lock Me's back in its place. And then Candy's going to lay the beat down on the Beastmaster. And I think that's going to do it. I think, yes, that is going to end the battle. I, I must have missed the point of destruction that um, Prismatic scored. Let's see, they killed my Noah Berserker. They killed... My Beastmaster, and they scored five for their primary. I'm not sure where they got the other point, but 
nevertheless, uh, we went over the scoring and, um, yeah, Prismatic won. So, uh, unfortunately, like I said, um, three on three battles are, are a little di difficult. Um, if you try to spread your forces out, you will get screwed. So that is today's lesson, uh, kids. You play three on three Relic Knights, castle up somewhere, and hope the other two guys kill each other while you run around and score objectives. Now, um, that we're at the end of this battle report, I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to point out that we, for the last two Name That Anime themes, uh, no one has responded. I'm just going to say that the last one was the... Um, the name of the show was called The Devil is a Part-Timer. As you can see, I was playing No, which looked like Demons. The Devil is a Part-Timer. Uh -huh. Hint, hint. Um, anyways, if you want to keep... If you want to keep this game going, I don't know. I don't, it, it seems like no one's um, actually participating anymore. And, you know, I just don't want to do it if no one participates. Put a comment down and let me know if we're still going to play. Because I enjoy playing the game but i'm not sure you guys do so let me let me know so anyways i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you on the next